I did not sleep well, but I did have a very interesting dream. <laughs> it started out as like a documentary. Hank Green was talking about roadways in Britain. And I think he was saying that there weren't enough of them. And so a lot of people were driving on dirt paths. And like, it was beautiful scenery of him just driving through some hills on, yes, dirt paths. The, the kind of car path where like grass and stuff is growing up in the space between where the tires would be. And he was just narrating all about roadways and walkways and erosion and I think a connection between towns was part of it. And then the scene shifted from him driving to him walking and then right beside him was a clearly well eroded path with a big puddle in the middle. And he picked up a rock and tossed it into the puddle and he was like, whoa, that was deeper than I expected it to be. Glad I didn't step in it. And then it was no longer documentary. I was there with him and he was talking to me about how such pathways form, right? And at that point, I noticed that for some reason, I had a bed sheet and a comforter over my head and I was like holding them around myself. And this was a constant throughout the rest of the dream. I was constantly tugging at and readjusting the comforter and sheet that I was cloaking myself with. In the middle of me and Hank Green discussing erosion of footpaths, we looked off to the side where there was a very deep puddle and we saw a guy come jogging along straight into the middle of this very, very deep puddle and then suddenly turn right and just climb out of the puddle and keep walking. Hank Green and I also turned to the right. There was suddenly a cavern like a deep crevice in the ground. And he handed me a flashlight. It was a very shitty flashlight. Didn't work very well. And he had a flashlight and we stepped down into this sandy, rocky cave. Once we were down there, there was a guinea pig that for some reason had a really long tail and a rabbit that was very friendly and then I took another step, and there were a bunch of cats and kittens. No explanation for that. But then Hank Green stopped talking about erosion and footpaths, and started talking about how this cave was the home of the Full Metal Alchemists. And I started looking around, and there were a bunch of places where there were holes in the walls, and there was like rebar sticking out of some of them, and giant blocks of metal in others. It was a very interesting dream. It ended when Hank stopped sticking next to me. Like, our two flashlights, when we're right next to each other, was enough to see what was going on. But he decided to walk away, and suddenly my one flashlight was not enough in the slightest. And so I got very scared, and I tried to follow him into a hole in the wall. And that's when I woke up. Not a bad dream. Not really a good one, but just interesting. Two clarifications. The puddle that the man ran into and then climbed out of, he literally was at like chin height of the water before he started leaving. And second of all, I don't actually watch Hank Green or listen to him that often. Like I know who he is. Sometimes his videos come up on my feed and they're interesting. But he is not someone that I would expect to appear in my dream out of nowhere.